This truck right here behind me is actually gonna get the traditional style builds that I like to do. I can say that I typically stick to a theme. But before I go any further and reveal this truck to you guys, boys and girls, I need to remind you that Dream Deals Giveaway number 32 is going to be ending very, very soon. As a matter of fact, as you're seeing this video 20 times entries are live for your chance to take home my baby, my Denali, my personal daily driver for the last few years and $30,000 cash. Check out that link in the description below. Now, on with the reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, where we are over at Frederick Chevrolet and we are gonna be debuting a brand new truck on the channel. I've been very excited about this, mostly because I don't always buy my trucks from local dealerships. But in this instance, in this very opportunity, I finally had the chance to plan a relationship which you guys know makes everything possible. Somebody I've known for a very long period of time from the gym happened to call me with some very good news. They said, Jack, I've got a truck that I think you're really gonna wanna get your hands on. And well, after they revealed what it was, I couldn't say no. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this beauty right here. Now here we are in the seat of our 2024 Chevrolet High Country Duramax. We are talking fully murdered out high country here, ladies and gentlemen, and I am very excited to say the least about this truck right here. Again, I gotta say a huge thank you to my good friend, long-term friend now that I met at the gym. The power of networking is unimaginable. I will stress this and I'll stress it again. You never know when somebody that you meet in a simple, measly, little, hello, how are you doing interaction, maybe you hold the door for them, where it could go full circle and you end up working with them on a professional level sometime in the future. So long story short, my buddy Brandon gave me a call and said, dude, I got a 2024 High Country Duramax that just hit the lot. It is unclaimed. Not that many people know that it's in the pipeline. Are you interested? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, Brandon, I am. And here we are taking delivery of it today. Well, the delivery has already been taken. We got the keys in hand and we are about to jump into this thing right here. And yes, the build is going to commence here very shortly, but I wanna walk you guys through this beautiful truck because I have an opinion about these things. It might be unpopular or all of you might agree with me at the same time. So only time will tell. But I did wanna show you guys, these 2024s are quite difficult to come by. They have a 2024 Z71 right here that is effectively unheld right now. You interested? If you are, hit them up. Their link's right down in the description below. All right, so unpopular opinion, ladies and gentlemen, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say this. It's a bold statement, and I'm actually surprised I'm going to be admitting this on the vlog, but you know what? It grew on me. The High Country is my favorite rendition of all of the 2023, 2024 competitor revisions that came out for this whole new kind of across the lineup redesign. We're talking the Fords, we're talking the GMCs, we're talking, well, Ram made some interior changes, no exterior changes, so I'm kind of just discounting them. And then we're talking the high country. I did not like it at first. I seriously did not like it at first. I was not a fan. I was like, what is this? What kind of spaceship looking weird kind of Minecraft stuff is going on here? But now I see so much potential in this front end and I'm not going to lie. The Chevy now has more of a C-shaped headlight than the actual GMC, which is like the other ones that pioneered the C. Everything should be a C. All their products in their portfolio should be a C. Well, it's no longer a C. The high country takes the claim for the C fame. <laughs> so long story short, ladies and gentlemen, this is an eight mile, brand new, fully blacked out high country Duramax. I'm not at a black high country Duramax since Lone Star, the original version, which went off to Texas, which is kind of ironic how that all worked out. But the giveaway gods made their blessing and that's where it is. And since then, Raphael Pena has been loving it. But now here we are with effectively a very clean slate. Now let's get into some details about this thing, kind of similar to the review that I did about my GMC Denali Ultimate that I can link right here for you guys to check out. If you're between the Chevy bow tie and the Ultimate, I'm actually gonna point out a few changes that this truck doesn't offer that the Ultimate does offer. Are they worth it to you? Are they not? I'm not quite sure. You're gonna have to make that decision for yourself, but I'll distinctify those things today. Again, the front end has been improved. So the fog lights on these trucks are actually very similar to the 2020 to 2023 GMC Denali fog lights, and they're not a projector, but I'll tell you what, they worked really well. 
There's actually even inside a small little Chevrolet element. Little detail goes a long way. I dig it, Chevrolet. Then we get up into the headlights and the grill. All that stuff's been changed. The bumper now is more flat than it is intricate like some of the previous years. And then the headlights. These things are really cool. I'm not going to lie. They've got this big C shape, two projectors. I'd imagine one's for high beam, one's for low beam. On the side, they actually did a small little Chromis compliment Chevy emblem, which I really like to see. I'm a big fan of the bow tie. I'm a bow tie guy until I die. I started with bow tie and effectively I might end with bow tie. I don't know. I think I still prefer Chevy over GMC. I like Denali's, but anyway, we don't have to get into that right now. Let's see what the headlight looks like when the turn signal is on. So we'll jump out here. Is it a big switchback? Yes, as a matter of fact it is. And it's sequential, which I can respect. It's nice to see that Chevy didn't get rid of that feature and tried to keep it exclusive to GMC. Sometimes those co-brands do that and it makes absolutely no sense to me because if you like a bow tie, you should get all the luxuries behind the bow tie as you can get with the GMC, etc. That looks really good. I like that a lot. Cool little sequence to say the least. All right, let's put that back. All right, now coming around the back side here, I think the headlights were changed just a little bit. Yes, they are. They got Chevrolet in here, which is chrome. I like that a lot. Cool thing here, Very. this is cool. This is actually very cool. Am I seeing what I'm believing or am I not? That's actually clear and then the out, is that clear? All right, so for a second there, I got really excited. I thought this whole housing was clear, but in fact, it's just this little center housing. You can see that the element is in fact not stained in color, whereas the rest of the tail light is actually red. I got excited for a second here, but I had to kind of backtrack. So they have this kind of hazed LED around the side, but they didn't really change the overall shape of the tail light. Around the rear of the truck, I don't really notice anything all that much different. Let's see here. On this one, it does not have the multi-pro tailgate, but it does in fact have the assist down and the assist up. So if you hit the button, it'll actually climb itself back up for you. Um, multi-pro versus this one, I'm not really sure which one's better. I can't lie. I think I actually kind of prefer this one over the Multi-Pro, although you can't put speakers in this one like you can the Multi-Pro. What do you guys think? Would you rather the Multi-Pro tailgate or would you rather the assist up and assist down one? I don't know. I think I like them both because they both are respective to their own individual brands. All right, now before we jump inside the truck to highlight some other differences, let's take a look at the front end. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me in the fact that the Chevys are actually better looking than the GMCs? Or do you think the GMCs are triumphant over that of the Chevrolet? Give it a second. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to wait until you see this one done because believe me what I tell you, you're really gonna like what you see. This truck right here behind me is actually gonna get lifted a lot higher than the traditional style builds that I like to do. I can say that I typically stick to a theme, but we're gonna jump out of that theme specific for this one. It's very special because it's gonna be one of the first 2024s that gets done. And I am honored to actually be able to break that ice for all of us together. All right, now jumping on inside the truck here, let's take a look. Ooh, little bug, taking a ride. Come on, get out of here. Inside the high country, we are talking a blackout interior with some brown accents. It's almost like they took the uh, the copper inlays off the grill and then moved them inside the truck, but in, into the actual perforations of the seat. We've got some brown stitching here along the door sill, some perforated leather to complement, some in some wood grain. Bose sound system still in this truck, probably similar to the Denali. Big changes here on the center area. So high country, obviously. Most notable being the design of the center console, which I'm gonna say it again. I have to say it right now because it's just the truth and nothing but the truth. This center console is designed 15 times more effectively than that of the GMC. The GMC has a cup holder here, a cup holder here, a little tiny holder for like a pencil or a pen, a tiny little like elevated tray that's only about half the depth of this so stuff slides all over it, and then it's got the trailer assist adjuster, not here, which is where I said GM should have put it, but here which makes no sense. I didn't like that about my GMC Denali at all. I'm not gonna lie. Especially because I carry a camera a lot of places with me. I put my camera down and it was actually starting to scratch it just a little bit. I stopped doing it after that, but it was just an observation I made. Whereas this one, the trailer brake controller's here. It doesn't have a massive Megalodon start stop button, which I'm okay with because this start stop button is plenty fine. It's great, it's ergonomic, it makes sense. And then I got two cup holders that are perfectly positioned so I can drive and kind of hold my coffee like I do. I don't know if anybody's like me in that sense, but I kind of like to just hold on to my coffee. And then I've got this huge storage compartment area where I can just put all of my stuff. And it just works really, really well. Now that brings us to the remainder of the interior. Let's have a look here, ladies and gentlemen. Everything over here is the exact same. We've got that black paint all around the dash bezel, which actually doesn't look bad. And the angle of this that's straight up and down isn't like the Denali that kind of comes out. 
The buttons are no longer right here, they're up here, which in my opinion makes a tremendous amount more sense because you can kind of reach over and play the piano of whatever function it is that you need. Plus it buys more space right here, which again, I really, really like. We still have the center charger for the cell phone, which is a fantastic feature and all of it is very centrally located. Plus at the angle in which these buttons are on, you don't see that orange peel, which drove me up a wall in the last video. All right, now we put this thing in drive. We still kind of run into that whole, all right, this is in the way, but honestly, rather than it being here, it's effectively in a better location here. You just kind of have to remember because you kind of can't see it, but that's not that big of a deal in my opinion. I don't know. Would you rather it here, completely in the way and kind of have to go around or down? You'll have to comment below and let me know what seems to make better. Oh, we also have a little compartment up here. This didn't exist in the last truck. I could totally see myself forgetting a lot of stuff up there, but I like that it's there. Maybe put pens up there, business cards, some other miscellaneous note-taking stuff, easy pass, probably not chapstick because it would melt. We got USB, USB-C over here. We've got this same kind of analog feedback that comes from the HVAC system, all the same controls between each truck. So let's go ahead and power this thing on here. What do we run into? Let's see. All right, so demo mode, effectively all of the same screenplay on this right side here. That's cool. It works pretty well. I'm a big fan. I like the cameras that you can actually leave them on 100% of the time. That's a very nice feature. We do have the camera up here. Get that out of the way. That you can flip and toggle between sunroof and rear sliding window. And then on the Chevys, the actual gauge cluster is the same. It's just effectively different because it's blue instead of a black background. Now let's see if we can customize this thing at all. We can change the left side, right side, lower gauges, just like we did in the Denali display layout. And it looks like progressive digital and clean were the same options that were in the Denali. That one's a lot darker. It's not actually black, it's dark blue and then clean. I'm a big fan of classic, so we're just gonna leave that there. And then up in the top left corner here, you can actually see who listened to you by putting their seatbelt on and who didn't. Those little X's are indicative of no seatbelt latched. Now, kind of cool, as we look over the hood of the High Country, you can actually see the chrome hood scoop that kind of somewhat protrudes over the cowl that recesses down. That looks really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Now these trucks are big and they're long and it kind of feels like Christopher Columbus when you're driving them because it doesn't, you don't know where the front end actually ends. But I think that that's kind of cool because the hood scoop is in fact functional and you can see it, it's kind of, kind of badass. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are wasting absolutely no time in this build process. As a matter of fact, we are over here now at our friends and family, Lime Ridge Automotive, where you guys know Zach at Precision Vehicle Works is located. And we are about to pull this truck in and collectively grab some tools and begin the disassembly process. You guys are gonna love this one because there is no meat. We are all skin in the game. This is not a, hey, look at my truck and we're gonna talk about taking it apart another vlog. We are, as a matter of fact, going to start on this thing ASAP. There's no time to waste because we effectively have our hands on one of the first 2024 High Country Duramaxes on YouTube that I know of, and I didn't check that for like a week, so whatever. If I'm not, not really that stressed about it because this one is going to be so sick, so unique, and so unlike me when it's done. Well, it's like me, and I've wanted to do something like this for a while, but I was actually very patient about it being on a specific platform and that platform being a brand new High Country Duramax. I really actually love these things and I really actually think I'm a little privy to the Chevy over the GMC, especially after it's been just a little bit now that I've had the time to think about it. I really love the High Country and plus I didn't really mention, but this one is a 2500 HD. Not that it really matters all that much, but for those of you that like details, I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to share. All right, here we go pulling on into the surgery center. Gentlemen, that is where we are going to wrap up this video, debuting the high country and of course packing up the headlights. So Fill It Fast Headlights gets to be yet again, one of the first aftermarket headlight builders to get their hands on not the first set of GMC Ultimate Headlights, which he built for the Denali, which I have an update for you guys on here soon. I'll get that video here up shortly, hopefully as soon as I possibly can, but also the first set of 2024. 
brand new Chevy High Country headlights. They are boxed up in our custom boxes. Phil made us these bad boys. Although heavy, they are, they are quite nice and they have had a lot of shipped headlights through these things. These are the magic boxes right here. We're in the process of tearing it down, but I'm going to leave that to Zach at Precision Vehicle Works. He's going to continue to take care of us. We've already got a lot of parts on the way for this very build and I cannot wait to show you the direction that we're going because it's so much different than a lot of the builds that I've done in the past in a lot of different ways. You'll soon see one of the best looking high countries that's ever hit the internet by yours truly, and we're gonna do it all together. Do bear in mind the end of Dream Diesel giveaway number 32, AKA my Denali and $30,000 cash is July 4th. Procrastination Nation, your time is ticking. Max entries are live right now at 20 times entries for your chance to take that truck home. And there's a limited shirt that's up in limited quantities. If you guys can grab one of those, they actually pull 25 times entries as long as they're in stock. Thanks for watching as always guys. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next upload.